Hi, this is Helal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will try to solve a problem that was asked by a brother Shakil Sheikh uh, regarding the simple Keynesian model. Uh, the question is like this, <coughs> sorry. In a simple Keynesian model of closed economy, our marginal propensity to consume is 0.8. Uh, if an income tax of 25% of income is introduced, then the simple Keynesian expenditure uh, multiplier changes by the options are by 25% or minus 25% uh, 50% or uh, minus 20 uh, sorry minus 50% okay so let us try to solve this uh, before I try to solve this I uh, really thank you all of you guys that have supported me uh, in this initiative of uh, importing the free uh, mathematical economics uh, course for you people okay there is no incentive for me uh, to make these videos other than uh, your uh, encouragement or your feedback or uh, for that i will uh, like uh, you people to please share and subscribe this channel and also give your valuable uh, feedback so that i can uh, move forward okay thank you guys so let's come to the question now we are being given the simple keynesian model with closed economy okay so uh, what will be our uh, a gdp equation or a gdp identity here that is uh, simply given by that is our total income or gdp is equal to uh, consumption expenditure plus investment expenditure plus government expenditure okay and since it is a closed economy so we don't have the import or export sector here okay now we will try to uh, find out the keynesian expenditure uh, multiplier uh, without a uh, introducing uh, the income tax first okay and then uh, we will solve it for uh, the income tax okay so let us see what will be our exp government expenditure uh, multiplier when there is no income tax imposed okay so what is our c uh, consumption function as we know is equal to let me write it here first to, to make it clear for you people then our consumption function will be uh, consumption function is equal to a that is autonomous consumption plus b y okay where b is the marginal propensity to consume and y is the income so this is our consumption function okay then our y will be equal to a uh, plus b y so in place of c we have a plus b y plus uh, investment plus government sector okay go uh, government sector here now let's uh, give the value of since mpc is 0 0.8 that means this b is our 0 0.8 what will be uh, our uh, identity then then y is equal to a plus in place of b we have 0 0.8 y plus i plus g okay now let's solve for y for that we will uh, transpose this point at y to lhs and it will get subtracted so we have y minus 0 0.8 y is equal to a plus i plus g okay now if we subtract point at y from y uh, it is 0 0.2 y will be equal to a plus i plus g or y is equal to if we transpose point 2 it will get divided to each of these terms so this is a upon 0 0.2 plus i upon 0 0.2 plus g upon 0 0.2 okay now we have to find the expenditure multiplier that means uh, by expenditure multiplier we simply mean what will happen to our gdp if there is change in the expenditure multiplier if there is change in our expenditure government expenditure okay that means if we want to find the change then we need to use the derivative here okay so we use the differentiation that means we need to find uh, dy dy upon dg that means change in income with respect to change in uh, government expenditure how much our go uh, how much our income or gdp changes when there is change in government expenditure that means we need to differentiate uh, this equation uh, with respect to g okay so uh, we are let me write here the partial dif uh, differentiation okay so i am using the 
and this uh, this symbol for partial differentiation because we are partially differentiating with respect to g here okay so uh, the derivative of a will be zero because we are differentiating with respect to g and a is constant here okay similarly it, uh, this term will be zero here similarly here uh, the investment is, uh, i will be zero the derivative of i will be zero because we are differentiating with respect to g so this term will be also zero now what will be the derivative of uh, g the derivative of g will be one by power function rule so here uh, uh, the derivative of g is one so we are left with one upon 0 0.2 okay and this is our government expenditure uh, multiplier uh, without income tax okay now what is one upon point two it can be written like this one upon one two upon ten and if we just reciprocate uh, the denominator to numerator this will become ten upon two that is equal to five that means d y upon dg that is our government expenditure multiplier without tax and its value is 5 that means as uh, this simply means uh, if the government expenditure changes by one unit our income will change by five units okay so our income will change by a factor five uh, and we can also interpret it like this if the government uh, in an economy if the government uh, 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 what i can say if there is a government if the government expenditure increases uh, by 100 million dollars uh, then our gdp will change by uh, 50 million dollars okay this is the concept of this uh, government expenditure multiplier okay now coming back uh, to the question when there is the income tax of 25 percent then what will be our uh, this uh, income equation or gdp equation in this case uh, let me write it first we have y is equal to c plus i plus g okay and what is c c is equal to a plus b y subscript d that is our disposable income now what is our disposable income in this case disposable income will be equal to our total income gross income minus the tax that is being imposed on our income okay that means a tax rate upon our uh, tax rate into the income okay and what is the value of t that means there is a income tax of 25 percent and we can write it like this y minus 0.25 y okay if we change the percentage into decimal then it will become 0 0.25 okay this will be our disposable income in this case now what will be our uh, y y is equal to c so in place of c we have a plus b okay in place of y d uh, we have y minus 0.25 y okay uh, plus we have the investment and government expenditure okay or y is equal to a plus uh, b that is our marginal propensity to consume that is equal to 0 0.8 i will write here 0 0.8 okay now y minus 0 0.25 that is 1 minus 0 0.25 is simply 0 0.75 y okay plus i plus g okay or y is equal to a plus now 0 0.8 into 0 0.75 what is 0 0.8 into 0 0.75 0.8 can be written as 8 upon 10 and 0.75 can be written as 75 upon 100 okay if we change it, them into the fraction now this is 25 threes are 25 fours are okay or 4 ones are 4 twos are 8 we have 2 threes are 6 so we have 6 upon 10 which comes out to be 0 0.6 okay so this uh, 0.8 into 0.75 y becomes 0 0.6 y plus i plus g okay now transposing this term to lhs so this is y minus 0 0.6 y 
is equal to a plus i plus g okay now if we subtract 0.6 from 1 so what is 1 minus 0.6 it is simply 0.4 y is equal to a plus i plus g okay or uh, y is equal to now transposing this point 0.4 as we have done earlier here to rhs it will get divided to each of these terms so we have a upon 0 0.4 plus i upon 0 0.4 plus g upon 0 0.4 okay now we have to find the go, uh, simple Keynesian expenditure multiplier with the income tax that means we need to differentiate uh, this very equation with respect to g okay that means our expenditure multiplier will be then del y upon del g that means partially differentiating this equation with respect to g since we are partially differentiating with respect to g this a is the derivative of a will be zero the derivative of i will be zero we assume them as constants here okay and the derivative of g will be one okay by power function rule what is uh, the rule of uh, differentiation if we have g it is derivative will be simply uh, we can write g uh, like this first i will write we can write it like this g to the power one okay its derivative is simply this one becomes coefficient okay and this uh, exponent is subtracted by one and we are left with one g to the power one minus one is zero and we know one into so g to the power zero that means anything raised to the power zero is equal to one and we are left with one that means the derivative of g is equal to one okay so here the derivative of g is one so we are left with one upon 0 0.4 and what is 0 0.1 upon 0 0.4 uh, let me rub this out here so what is 1 upon 0 0.4 so we have 1 upon 1 whole divide it can be written like this 4 upon 10 or 1 upon 1 into if we uh, transpose this to numerator it will get reciprocated so we have 10 upon 4 this is 4 ones are 4 4 twos are 8 we have point then we have 20 4 fives are 20 that means we have 1 upon 0.4 is equal to 2.5 okay now what does this uh, tell us this multiplier it simply tells us if government expenditure increases by one unit then our uh, GDP will increase by 2.5 units that means our GDP will change by a factor of 2.5 okay so we got the expenditure multiplier without income tax and expenditure multiplier with income tax now the question tells us what is the change in the simple Keynesian expenditure multiplier okay with income tax and without income tax now change in government expenditure multiplier is simply uh, without uh, income tax our expenditure multiplier was expenditure multiplier without tax was 5 expenditure multiplier with tax was 2.5 and what is the change in the expenditure multiplier it is simply it is simply 2.5 minus 5 that is 2.5 minus 5 upon 5 okay and if we into 100 if we want to change it into percentage okay then change in expenditure multiplier is equal to now 2.5 minus 5 is equal to minus 2.5 upon 5 into 100 percent now 2.5 upon 5 is equal to uh, 2.5 upon 5 is equal to mm, 0 minus 0 0.5 into 100 or it is equal to I will write here percent percent it comes out to be minus 50 percent okay that means change in expenditure multiplier when the income tax 
of 25% is imposed on income is equal to minus 50% okay I hope I make myself clear in this video and once again I thank you all of guys in supporting uh, me in making this uh, channel more suitable for you people and for others also okay thank you